Hello Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Leo from the 22nd to the 28th of April 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you want a personal reading, uh, please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my uh, simple energy healing remedies, as well as my deck reviews that I've been putting out. You will find that interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read for you, and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. And I am using the mythical goddess tarot to do this particular energy read. Okay, so you've got the fear card over here, and uh, this has got Venus in Aquarius. So something drastic has happened that has made you a bit fearful, a bit scared about doing things. It's the five of wands, um, the, f the five of wind, which is the five of swords, rather. And so you can see there's a lot of clouds, there's a lot of lightning and thunder, and there's a lot of rain. So something has upset you quite a bit. Maybe people have been saying things, and you've been having a lot of problems with people. But it's been very sudden, a very dramatic uh, events that have happened that have, have caused you to be very, very scared of even doing things. You might have been, um, you know, feeling in a position of uh, a disempowerment or feeling very threatened at this particular moment. And maybe a lot of people have been betraying you. Um, there might have been a lot of vindictive behavior. So you're a bit scared to actually act. You've got the death card, Kali. Uh, which is quite a dramatic card to have. So, uh, you know, there, it was something really big and dramatic that happened all of a sudden and there was an ending of a situation. So something came to an abrupt end and it caused a lot of upheaval. And it looks like, you know, uh, it might have been somebody against you that caused a lot of problems for you and has caused you to actually have to leave that situation and walk away from it. So you've got the centering card at the bottom over here. So this is uh, Mars back in Aries. So you have to take back your personal power and refocus. So after this big event happened that caused a dramatic, maybe they have, there was some kind of a loss of a relationship or loss of something that happened. It left you very scared. And now you're trying to refocus or you need to refocus yourself. You need to get your, this is Mars in Aries. So you need to get your personal power back again and center yourself. This is the two of rods. There might be that decision to make some kind of important decision but you need to take that control right back again so you've got the yin yang um or oh, the con yang card over here a uh, con yin card over here which is the empress card over here uh, this is being very very productive so whatever you were doing was you know generating things and you were really uh, uh, quite on track as far as your finances your family life goes you know everything seemed to be really fine uh, in the past and then you had this uh, ace of um, swords coming in the uh, realization so something new came in maybe it was something that caused a lot of problems uh, there was a piece of information or some kind of some kind of um big revelation that came in that caused a lot of drama and this has caused you know the endings of a situation so something stirred up a lot of problems something was severed some relationship some kind of tie with the past was severed that kind of disrupted this uh, energy of the empress which is a really calm stable energy but now this ace of swords is coming and it's a very very harsh kind of energy that comes in uh, and it's a very uh, you know harsh um a thought or, a, a, you know, something that caused a lot of drama because, you know, swords cut. So it was something that was very sudden and it caused a lot of hurt, anguish or a lot of problems that came in for you. Now, going to the future, here you are, because you've got that centering card, so you're trying to refocus on your goals over here. And then you've got the clarity with the maiden of... Um, of swords or the maiden of the wind over here so this is getting back on that eagle again so taking back your po po personal power and there you are refocusing on that goal and this is important you need to get that personal power back you might be feeling really disempowered at this particular moment but it's time for you now to get refocused take that power back and rise above that situation and you will be able to overcome you've got that initiation card over here which is uh the devil card usually um and this is about uh you know focusing back on your work because uh, this is the card ruled by capricorn but maybe you were dealing with the capricorn kind of energy as well uh it might have been a mother figure that you're dealing with maybe you had some problems because this woman looks like she's got this uh, arrow pointed right at this woman so you might be having problems your mother or uh, some maternal figure 
this person might be a Capricorn as well. So you might be trying to sort out this problem and you're needing to take back your focus again. Now, if this is not about dealing with your mother, this is about dealing with work, you need to really take uh, aim, make your goals very, very clear and focus on it and take charge again. So you do need to get that personal power back to deal with whatever this negative energy is because the devil card is about dealing with negative energy, negative people, vindictive people, people who are manipulating you. And this is about, you know, getting back, uh, getting back your power and taking control of that situation and sorting it out. So you are dealing with quite a lot of difficult energy around you and you need to get that personal power back and sort out that situation. And only you can do it. You're the one that needs to do it uh, and you will you will be victorious in that particular circumstance. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Manga Tarot. And this is for the uh, general read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Swords. So it looks like you're throwing away all the problems and you are going to make a brand new start. You are probably with somebody at this moment that is helping you get through the situation. So this could have been something that you went through at work. This could have even been a family emotional situation, but you are getting rid of all those swords. You can sh see this man is throwing these swords into the water and they are moving away from that situation. So, um, you know, you are dealing with it and you are going to make a brand new start, it seems. So what's happening with you? You've got the Ace of Cups over here. There you go, that brand new start. So you are, you have decided to make that dis that move, uh, make a decision and you're moving on. And now you've got that Ace of Cups coming in. So this brand new emotional cycle starting and you've got the Queen of Pentacles and it's, and you're going to be focused on your work. It seems like maybe the situation happened at work and you are dealing with it and you are now getting back on top again. You're being very organized, very systematic and you are taking control of your finances. You are very, very independent as well. So you are sorting through these problems that you're dealing with and you've taken control it seems or you're taking control at the moment you've got the prince of cups um in the past so there was some kind of offer that came in for you that brought you a lot of happiness and it seemed like you know you were you know well on your way to doing things that were making you happy so there was some kind of brand new thing that you started it could have been in the form of work it could have been in the form of study and it was something that made you really happy it was something you were waiting for now you've got that two of wands that's been um um in the last few months so there's something that you've been working on that you desire um you know quite a lot you've got that heart, a heart she's got a heart in her hand over here and the bu uh, butterfly of transformation so you're making plans for the future and you're going after something that you're very very enthusiastic about and you want very very badly and it is something that's going to make you very very happy and you've been working on that in the last couple, uh, few months now, on your mind is your relationship. It might be, uh, you know, starting a brand new relationship if you're single or even uh, rekindling an old relationship or the relationship that you're in. But there's somebody around you that is very, very supportive and somebody that you share a lot with. This could be a really good friendship or, like I said, it could be a really good love relationship. But there's a very strong soulmate connection and you're relying on this person. You can see even here to get you out of that difficult situation. So you are quite dependent on this person to help you out emotionally. Now, whatever's happening around you is causing a lot of drama. You've got that tower card over here. So you feel like you've had a lot of loss. Something happened that was very, very dramatic and has caused you know you to feel um, uh, like your world is upside down. So it's really reshuffled the way you've been thinking. It's uh, caused a lot of, um, you know, maybe loss, a lot of pain and, you know, has you up in arms as well. So you are fighting a very, very difficult situation, but you're getting over it. It looks like you are going to be conquering it. You've got that cups, uh, ace of cups over here and the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, you know, she's very stable. So whatever this uh, tower moment was uh, that caused so much of a uh, problems and upset it looks like you are going to be leaving it and moving away now this is the three of wands you're waiting for something to uh come to you you are looking at the past a lot doing a lot of review but there's a lot of stability because these rods are very firmly fixed in the ground so you have got plans in place and you are waiting for things to happen so you have made your plans you are very organized there will be victory. You've got this chariot card over here. So you might be dealing with issues in, in the family too. This could be a success in a family uh, dispute that you're having. But also this could be that you're maybe moving home, maybe buying a new home. Uh, but there's also a card of, um, this is also a card of taking control, um, you know, being in charge, being focused and um, 
see this person's got the sword quite high up there in both these cards over here even the tower so even though you have come through a difficult situation you are being victorious you are standing up your for yourself and standing your ground taking control of that situation and you will you will be victorious in it this is the card of achievement now you've got the two of pentacles you're trying to make a decision you're trying to get some balance back in your life maybe you're tr trying to find a new job as well because you've got those two pentacles in the water over here uh, maybe you're trying to find that balance between your home and your family your work life as well so this is also trying to get your uh, finances doing financial reviews but also trying to find that balance back in your life bringing that balance back in your life now going to the future and your final outcome would be the empress and you've got the uh, seven of wands over here and the princess of pentacles so with this empress card over here it's also taking control and this is maybe focusing uh, a lot more on your family on your own personal family looking after people protecting what is yours protecting your assets as well and working hard to do that and um you know um this is being very uh, uh organized as far as your finances going goes and um, maybe managing your resources quite successfully you've got the wands over here so whatever challenges you're dealing with you're going to be have to defend yourself and you're going to be you're going to be able to deal with it so uh, there are still some problems that you're dealing with but you need to stand up for yourself and you know face things head on uh, and don't be shy to uh, show people your power and you are quite powerful you'll be able to sort out these problems and you can see new doors opening for you so whatever you're dealing with you'll be able to sort it out and move forward move into the future quite successfully there's a lot of focus that is going to be on work you've got this princess of pentacles which is the uh, prince um, or the um, knight of uh, pentacles so this is about being focused on that work there might be some travel that is involved with this job there might be even further learning so things might be moving a little bit slowly but you are making inroads towards success and it looks like you will be successful as well so i'm just going to draw some cards from the uh guardian angel uh, tarot and that oops <laughs> and this is for uh advice and uh, let's see so that is probably the tower moment <laughs> Okay, so you've got the three of emotions here. It's wonderful news is on its way to you. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made, or committees of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. So with this three of emotions, there's some kind of celebration coming in, and you are going to achieve. This is a celebration of achievement, and also making new friends as well. Then you've got the eight of action over here, which says there's so much going on right now and it might, you might feel a bit overwhelmed and yet is, it is wonderful to be so busy with work that you love. Express gratitudes for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you are asked to travel uh, and take flight, then do so with confidence. So this is the eight of action, which is like the eight of wands. You might be traveling, but also you're going to be extremely busy soon. So you're going to have no time to sit and worry about, uh, you know, things that have happened in the past. You're going to be very focused on what you need to do for the future. And things are going to start moving very quickly as well for you. And like they say, if there's travel, you will be, uh, be asked to travel. So you may need to travel a little, a little bit. And a lot of communication coming in with this Eight of Action card. Then you've got the Ace of Thought over here, which says, This cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It is important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others and uh, who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections on your perfect plan. So the Ace of Thought is the Ace of Swords. So if you're dealing with any kind of legal issues, you will win that particular battle. It will go in your favor. But also it's a, there's a need for you to take control of that situation. And any kind of issue that you're dealing with, uh, there's victory in it. Uh, but you need to be very logical and, uh, you know, you need to, to think uh, for yourself, think uh, about yourself and take yourself into consideration. So be very selfish with this particular card and move forward and don't worry about what anybody has got to say. And also cut out things from the past or people from the past that are not serving you. So they're not going your way. You can see this person's raising this ace of sword over here. Uh, you can see this chariot raising this ace of sword over here. And then you've got that ace of thought over here, which is the ace of swords. So it is up to you to take control of that situation in order for you to move forward and be victorious. And be very single-minded about it. With that ace of swords, you've got to be single-minded and very goal-orientated to move forward.
So you will be able to overcome any kind of problem. If you're dealing with an emotional problem, you'll be able to sort it out. And if you're dealing with any problems at work or, you know, anything that is causing a lot of drama, you will be able to sort it out and be victorious. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.